Cassie did not come to play with Miss Katie, you guys. And she basically told her, look, you're going to play by the rules or we ain't going to play at all. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really do hope that you will stick around and join in on today's conversation. We got some new receipts in this lawsuit with Tati Westbrook versus Katie Joy, and I am so very excited to share this information with you guys. But for just a very quick recap, let's get into what has happened so far in this lawsuit against Tati Westbrook and Katie Joy. As you guys probably know, a couple of months ago, Tati Westbrook filed a defamation lawsuit against Without a Crystal Ball, aka Katie Joy. And after this lawsuit was filed, Katie went crazy deleting evidence. She starts deleting like crazy, deleting videos, deleting tweets. And very quickly, Tati's legal team filed a motion to preserve evidence. That way, Katie could no longer do this because they seen this happening. Everybody's seen it happening. It was a very public thing. So Tati's legal team did file a motion to preserve evidence. Katie and her legal team were supposed to file a response and they missed their deadline. They actually had to request an extension and the courts did give them an extension for their response. Now on December 14th, there was a document filed and a response has been given, you guys. We're gonna get into that. Katie and Tati's legal teams did get together Together, and they came up with an agreement that I find extremely interesting. Both legal teams have agreed that when it comes to the motion to dismiss, they are not going to take that in front of the courts, which we are going to get into more details about here in just a moment. But that is something that they agreed upon. Another agreement is that Katie is going to follow the rules when it comes to this motion to preserve evidence. What we're going to get into today is the details on how this agreement came about and why Katie agreed to this motion to preserve evidence because it wasn't because she wanted to and you guys in my personal opinion it's like one of those situations where you pick the lesser of the evils and this is kind of what happened in this situation so let's get into it so during this meeting between Tati's legal team and Katie's legal team Tati's side claims that they know Katie has still been deleting evidence even after receiving this motion to preserve evidence that they have seen it it's very public it's all over social media we've all seen it if you've been following this story, Katie has still been deleting live streams, still deleting comments, still deleting videos, tweets, things of that nature. She's still been doing it up until literally this past week. I seen her delete a live stream. So Tati called her out for it. And Tati's legal team was like, you guys are not following the rules. This is not okay. Something's going to have to get done about it if you can't follow the rules. And of course, Katie denies that she has deleted any kind of evidence. But in the same sentence, Katie says, look, I don't want to take this to court. So I'll agree on your terms if that's what you want to do. I don't want to take this to court. Why does she not want to take it to court, you guys? Because she knows that there is plenty of evidence there to prove that she is guilty. You don't even have to be a judge or a juror to see that the things that this woman has done, she's guilty of. It's very public. Everybody that's been following this has seen how all this unfolds. Tati has been extremely quiet and Katie, <laughs> Katie has not. So with that being said, she agrees to the motion to preserve evidence, but she also says that she does not want to take the motion to dismiss to the court. It's probably a good idea for her because you guys, honestly, if they would have took this in front of the courts, I, just, I seriously think they would have proved that Katie was guilty and then this would have went to trial and really gotten very dirty. Now, at this point, I don't know what is going to happen. Of course, we're going to follow it. We have another motion coming up on the 18th or 19th that I really do feel will bring a lot of context to this lawsuit and really let us know in what direction this lawsuit is going to go from here. But... When it comes to this agreement, Tati was very, very clear with Katie. She said, look, this is basically how this is going to go. We will not take this in front of the courts, but you do have to follow this motion to preserve evidence, plumb down to the most simplest thing. So basically, this states that Katie cannot delete anything on social media, you guys, not on Facebook, not on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, it does not matter literally nothing and not just on social media but this also has to do with emails text messages anything of any personal privacy it does not matter 
anything. Katie cannot delete it. Let's say that Katie does a live stream that has nothing to do with the lawsuit whatsoever. She refuses to comment on the lawsuit because that is a new thing she's been doing, her no comment situation. And someone in the comment says something about the lawsuit. Well, Katie cannot delete that live stream. She cannot delete that comment, nothing. And so that is why I believe Katie has turned off the comments on most of all of her content. She already knows if she doesn't disable those comments, there's going to be thousands of people talking about this lawsuit, and then that will make every single live stream evidence. Before all of this even happened, there was already 40 to 50 videos on Tati Westbrook, and of course, Katie investigating and digging and doing what Katie does best, and that was already there. And then you've got all the evidence since, because there is a lot of stuff that has built up since. So this case, if they have to go through all this stuff, it's going to be crazy. If Katie refuses to comply to this motion to preserve evidence and she deletes anything, anything at all, you guys, that has to do with this case or is relevant to this case in any way, shape, or form. And she is subjected to sanction, including sanctioned in civil contempt. Now, here is the definition of civil contempt. Basically, what that is, when you disobey the law, when you disobey a court order, things get real serious. That is what that basically means. So Tati did not come to play with Miss Katie Joy. She basically said, look, honey, you're going to play the game right or we ain't going to play at all. And I have to give it to Tati, you guys, because honestly, she could be hitting Katie Joy so much harder than she is. I said this in my last video. I do truly believe that she is using and this is just speculation. This is just my thoughts and opinions. But I do believe that Tati is using Katie Joy more as a stepping stone to get to her business partner, Clark Swanson, and that big lawsuit. Because that's really where it gets serious for Tati. This little game she's playing with Katie, this is just to get the evidence she needs against Clark Swanson. That is my beliefs. Of course, I have no receipts, no nothing for that. But if you have been following this, then you guys know what I'm talking about. It seems very very apparent that that is where Katie Joy was getting a lot of her information. But once again, I'm not speculating. That is just my thoughts and opinion. At the end of the day, the one thing I do know is Tati Westbrook is a very, very smart woman. She is playing her cards right no matter what direction she is taking this. I believe she has Katie Joy exactly where she wants her. And Katie Joy has no real fight in this game, in my personal opinion. You know, she has been building this up to say, I'm very innocent and I have all this proof and we've still not seen it at this point. So until that day comes, this is my thoughts on the whole situation. Kudos to Tati for putting her foot down and saying, you know what, girl, you're either going to follow the rules or we're going to take you for everything you're worth. Basically, that's what she has said. That is it for this update on the lawsuit, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you believe that Katie's just playing nice to try to get this swept under the rug? Or do you believe that it is just now getting interesting and this lawsuit is about to really pop off? Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say. Also, if you want to stay in the loop on everything to do with this lawsuit, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, tap the bell for post notifications. That way you are notified every single time I upload. I appreciate every single one of you to the moon and back. And until next time, bye.